Hi everyone and welcome to your flipped learning for maths this week. Today we are going to be focusing on ordering amounts. Ordering amounts. Fantastic. So by looking at the screen you can see when we order amounts we either go from the smallest amount to the greatest amount or we go from the greatest amount to the smallest. And as you can see, they are not in order. Two, four, six, we have missed in between because we don't have a group of objects of that amount. So this week you are going to be looking at different styles of questions. So you can see on the board, which group has the greatest, greatest, amount so you are looking for the amount that has the most fantastic so out of these groups which group of animals has the most so to solve that question you will have to count them so let's count the snails one two three how many dogs one and then how many rabbits one two three four so which one has the greatest amount well done it is c the rabbits So this is another one of our key vocabulary. It is greatest, greatest, most, most. So that means we're looking for the largest amount. So let's have a look at the toffee apples. We're gonna count them first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then our sugar canes, we have one, two, three, four. So we know that the toffee apples is the greatest amount whereas the sugar canes is the smallest amount. So the next keyword is smallest, smallest, or we could use fewest, fewest. So that is the one that has the least amount. So let's look at the camels. One, two, three camels. But how many elephants do we have? Well done, we only have one. So this is the smallest or fewest amount. So if I was to put these in order, I would start with the smallest first. So as I said, you will be having lots of questions that look like this this week, okay? So the astronauts are sharing sweets and you can see at the top here. They want to know who has the greatest amount and who has the fewest. So pause the video now while you solve this at home. Once you've solved it, you can show it to your mums or dads and to check if you are correct. So if you are looking for the greatest amount, we are looking for the one that has the most. And the fewest is the one that is the smallest or the least. So when we look at groups of objects, you can see you will have to order them starting from the smallest to the greatest. So out of these three, which one is the smallest? Well done, it is the red one, so that means you'd have to put it over here first. What is the next smallest? Is it the block of blue or the block of pink? Let's find out. So if we look at the block of blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we look at the pink, we only have one. Two. So that means it would go next to the red. And then the greatest amount is the blue. So I've put a few questions in here for you to solve. I'm going to do the first one with you, and then we will let you do the next one by yourselves. So the greatest amount of sweets. The first thing I have to do, you can see there's gaps underneath. I have to fill out what each group is. So if I look at the first one, I have one, two, three, four. So all I'm going to do is write four sweets. Now the blue sweets, one, two, three. So I'm going to write the number three. And then the next group of pink and yellow, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to put seven. And now I'm going to look at the questions. The greatest amount of sweets is, so when we say greatest, the one that's the most. So the greatest is seven. And the smallest is the least, the smallest number. So is four or three smallest? Well done, it is three. And then I've solved my question. 
now it is going to be your turn. So you can answer the next one on some paper, please. So stop the video now while you answer this question. So the next part is going to be the second half of our week where we are going to focus on ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. And that means where you would finish in a race, for example. So you would say he came first or she came second. Or you could say where the position of something is. So if I had a block of cubes, I can say the first one is a certain colour. OK, so this is the key vocabulary that you are going to be learning this week. First. First. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. And finally, sixth sixth and you can hear at the end i'm using a certain special friend okay on certain numbers so make sure you're saying them clearly so as i said we're going to be describing position using ordinal language so if, as i said we have a block of cubes which cube is first first which cube is last last and then finally, which cube is third? Third. You can solve these at home. So colour the sixth brick red. So that means you'd have to count along from left to right as it says. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or first, second, third, fourth, fifth sixth and then finally the last bit down below is the third brick is and you need to tell me which color okay and that is the end of our ordinal language and ordering numbers for this week i look forward to some fantastic learning next week and also we have a surprise for you you are going to take part in your own special olympics this term OK, so we'll be going outside and we'll be doing lots of fun Olympic games. OK, so I look forward to seeing you guys. Bye.